Elite Facts presents What would happen to the world if the internet collapsed? Remember our previous video about what would happen to the world if we ran out of oil? One of the things on that list was the loss of the internet, and we briefly mentioned how the world would function if that was to happen. Looking at some of the things the internet affects is pretty scary. Now, you would think that maybe we could just go back to the way it was when the internet wasn't available to the public and local businesses. You know, like the way it was back in the 1970s and 80s. But unfortunately, we as a society have become way too reliant on the internet for that to be possible. I mean, we're at the point where the internet has become the foundation of our world. Seriously, try and think of a scenario where we don't need the internet in our day-to-day -day lives and everyday jobs. We live in a digital age, and we have been for the last 20 years. 30 if you're one of the few people in the 1990s who actually had the internet. What we're saying is it would be incredibly difficult to adjust back to that pre-internet lifestyle. But what are the specifics? What exactly would happen to our society if the internet was to just suddenly collapse? Well, here's our take on that situation. 7. Social media would cease to exist. Okay, so this is a minor one, one which we're pretty sure we could get by without. And if you couldn't, well, then seriously, get out of the house and make some flesh and blood friends for God's sake. Anyway, depending on what type of person you are, losing social media could be a good thing or a bad thing. The reason we say it could be a good thing is because it would force you to actually be social. That means going out for a few drinks with your actual friends instead of looking at their timeline on Facebook to see pictures of all the fun they're having without you. The bad thing about this, well, aside from no longer having any idea what the Kardashians are up to, would be that long-distance friendships and relationships would be much more difficult to maintain. Instead of the convenience of sending an instant message to your friend through Skype or Discord, you would have to go back to the old days of sending them a letter or calling them on the telephone. Well, that's providing the phone lines and postal service haven't been affected by this sudden collapse of the internet. 6. Political Crisis Okay, time to move on to some more serious issues. With the internet suddenly being unavailable worldwide, the economic fallout would probably be the primary crisis that governments would face around the world. But that would be just one problem world leaders would face. The first thing that would most likely happen would be that the United States, who have been pushing to develop the power grids around the nation into a smart grid, would be in trouble. Smart grids could theoretically respond to customer needs more efficiently, conserve power, and communicate with one another over internet connections. In theory, this system could reduce power outages and other problems. But if the internet were to collapse, a smart grid would be crippled. Massive power outages would become a problem across any country using such a system. 5. No internet equals no online banking and ATMs. Okay, so we know the government would be scrambling if an internet crash was to ever happen, but how would it affect our lives? Well, how about for starters, we would all essentially become bankrupt. Don't believe us? Well, unless you're someone who has a Scrooge McDuck safe or sleeps on a money-stuffed mattress, you probably keep all of your savings in the bank. Banks, like most companies these days, have been reliant on the internet in order to keep records and other various pieces of data on file. Unlike the old days, where all records and data were kept in a physical format. If the internet was to go down, that information would all be lost. For all we know, banks just may have people's information backed up in a physical format for a situation like this, but trust us, if the internet was to go down, it would be pure chaos at the bank. Allow us to elaborate. If the internet was to go down, online banking would go down with it. ATM failures would cause huge lines at the banks. And banks would also face huge clearing pile-ups, as the check clearing and money transfers would all have to be done manually. This would continue until there's a breakdown in services. There would be no PayPal or Visa purchases. Credit and debit cards would become obsolete as point of sales would not work. NYSE, FTSE, Nifty, etc. would stop trading in shares and stocks. WTI trades for crude oil would stop, as would the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, leading to a stoppage of commodities trading. 4. No internet equals no satellites. You might want to get yourself an updated A to Z map, because trust us, if the internet was to go down, you're going to need it before they run out of stock. If the internet was to collapse, the GPS network would completely break down, as would all normal satellite communications. 
everything that is connected to satellites would have to be shut down. Okay, so that throws our basic needs out the window. No GPS and no television. But what about the people who work with these satellites? Well, those millions of IT workers who are dependent on the internet would be out of work. Juggernauts like Google, Facebook, and Twitter would all fade away and become obsolete. Seems like a grim scenario. Looks like Foster foresaw the situation in 1909 when he wrote The Machine Stops. But there is a counter view to this. The internet is self-resilient. It can't simply be shut down. It's not built that way. Turning off the internet is like shutting off religion. You just can't do it. Come to think of it, it'd be easier to turn off religion than to turn off the internet. However, we do seem to be getting closer and closer to making the internet our god. Not in the abstract way, but the internet surely dominates our way of life with a godlike presence. Without the internet, we would surely be sent back to the Stone Age, as switching to the manual way of doing things would be too difficult for most people. 3. The stock market would take a tumble. In the event of a total internet outage, the stock market would likely be closed down. Credit transactions for purchases would stop. There would be no bank-to-bank -bank transactions. We definitely think that a major internet outage would constitute a national emergency. Could we survive and recover? Sure, eventually. But we would take a major economic hit in the meantime. For the average person, the fallout of the stock exchange would take a few days or weeks to be felt, but the myriad of other institutions and sectors affected would induce global panic and riots would break out almost immediately. 2. There would be a food shortage. Oh, but you can just grow your own food. Yeah, good luck with that during the first few weeks of the world's online apocalypse. If the internet was to go down, it would cause a massive ripple effect that would hamper future food supplies as soon as the week after the collapse. Hell, people could even start panicking the moment the internet goes offline. Everything is done over the internet, and if it goes down, there's no way to monitor all the supplies and things that are constantly on the move. If the internet was down for even a week, it would be pretty devastating. 1. Hospitals would only last for a short amount of time. So continuing our point about there being a food shortage, it makes you wonder what would happen to hospital supplies. Well, it would be very similar to the food situation, as the ordering is all done online. Sure, they could go back to the old days of just sending out letters and making phone calls to place orders for hospital supplies, but as we mentioned earlier when we were talking about social media, what's to say that the collapse of the internet wouldn't take its toll on phone lines and the postal service? As far as making sure that patients receive the correct treatment, hospitals do have a contingency plan in place in the event that something like this were to happen. Various hospital employees have said that while the hospital has its own database, it still has to extract a lot of information from outside the hospital, whether it's patient information or simply just having to go on the internet to look up stuff. So with the temporary contingency plans they have in place, hospitals could still function, just not at full capacity. What other topics would you like us to talk about? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell button for notifications about our latest videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more elite facts.